Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got some of my favorite sports romance books for you. Alright, so I have done a sports recommendation video before and I will leave that linked up above. Actually there might be two so I'll, I'll leave them linked up in the corners. But uh, today we're talking all about my favorite sports romances. So most of them I think, sorry, most of them happen to be uh, hockey so sorry not sorry because apparently that is what my brain gravitates towards <laughs> in a romance book, apparently. But uh, these are some of my favorites from the last couple of years, and let's just dive right in. All right, so first up is the Game Changers series. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite book series of all times now. Every relationship is amazing. All the characters are really great and well-rounded and just so easy to fall in love with. I mean, Shane and Ilya are where it's at too, but I mean, all of them are just fantastic and I love them all to pieces. And like, I really enjoy that this focuses a lot on the relationship building and like kind of the angst around, you know, hockey players being out as LGBTQ+. But also I really like that it has a good amount of hockey in it. Like you get the locker room scenes and them coming out to their teammates and it's just really great and you get it you get little pieces of them actually being on the ice it's just so so good and probably one of the best like most well done hockey romance series out there so next up are Parental Guidance and Awk Weird, the first two books in the Ice Knight series. I did not end up liking book three, but the first two books are so so good. Uh, the first one is kind of fake dating with like a dating app thrown in there and like they're so cute and sweet and I just I love them and book two is accidental pregnancy both of them are really really good I wish they had more of like the hockey aspect in them but overall I really really enjoyed these two books they were so so good and funny and and like parental guidance is a perfect summer read and well actually I think both of these are perfect summer reading do with that what you will but I really enjoyed them they were super cute and I think I have a book review for the first one that I will leave linked up in the corner okay so next up is synchronicity so this one is actually a diving romance and this one is actually a short story so it's it's really short it's maybe I don't even think it's 50 pages. I really enjoyed it. Um, I read it last summer when the Summer Olympics were going on, particularly when the uh, diving and swimming competitions were going. This one is really short and what it lacks in page number, it kind of makes up for in the story. At least I felt that it made up for that. It's a kind of a love story between synchro, synchronized diving partners. So they kind of fall in love as they're going about, you know, their training and stuff and they kind of had this thing going on between them and then it just kind of blooms into more after winning goals for their synchronized diving and it's just a really good short story. Also, don't don't pay any attention to this cover. This cover is horrible. <laughs> um but I really, really enjoyed the book. And last but not least is Relay. So this one I read in June. I loved this book to pieces. It's about these two guys who had kind of a fling going on when they were at summer training camp when they were like 16 and they fell in love and then one of the boys wasn't ready to be out to the world or to, even to his parents at the time so he just kind of left the other guy in limbo and 10 years later they end up on the US Olympic uh, swim team and there's a little bit of hostility going on there and maybe a little bit of rekindling and then there's a whole lot of drama and it's fabulous and like if you like drama <laughs> in your romance this is definitely one to go for because it definitely has some drama <laughs> and it's really really good and it just they're so sweet and they're so dumb about each other and like everybody can see that they're in love and they just don't want to admit it to themselves and then you know things kind of happen and they hook up and then more stuff happens and drama and I love it it's so so good but also you get in like the Olympic drama that's going on there's like swimming training and all sorts of really really cool interesting stuff and it's just so good and it's one that I would highly recommend if you're into swimming or Olympics or like if you want some books to read to kind of fill that void that having two Olympics in two years kind of left, definitely this is one to check out. Alrighty, so that is it for my favorite sports romance. Do you guys have a favorite sports romance that you'd like to recommend? Let me know down below. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already but would like to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys.